Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET December 2019 and we are doing this problem 43 of your paper. So it's a problem from partial differential equation. So have a look. Let uxy be the solution of this differential equation, all right? partial differential equation in the unit disk. So we are so saying that uxy represents the solution in this unit disk of this partial differential equation and given to us is this condition that u vanishes on the boundary of the disk. So what is the boundary for this disk? It will be x square plus y square is equal to 1. Then we have to find out values of this, right? So let me show you something. So see the equation that is given to us is generally known as Poisson's equation. But uh, see generally what we have to find out if you have studied partial differential equation then generally you find out the solution for this. Alright, del u which is equal to del 2 if you are working in two variable alright then I am writing. So generally you find out the solution for this differential equation. So this, this PDE that we have written is called Laplace equation. It's not called Poisson's equation. If this zero is replaced by some function sigma of x, then we generally called it Poisson's equation. Now for your problem, it is 64. All right. So now firstly, we, I want to tell you this, that solving Poisson's equation in general is a lengthy process. All right. So I'm not going to do that for this problem. There are, there are also you asking you this problem. The examiner is also asking you this problem so that you can use some, all right, some counter for this problem. Are you getting my point or not? So they are not, they don't want you to solve this problem properly because it is not possible for you to find out solution of this differential equation using an algorithm or using a method, all right, generally. So what we will be doing, we will be firstly writing this differential equation. So see, this is the differential equation that you have. Sorry, it's not 62, it's 64. So see, if I will, dif uh, if I am differentiating it partially with respect to x twice and partially with respect to y twice, then all the factor on the right hand side of x and y gets eliminated. So what should I choose? All right. So should I choose like this? All right. See this 64, not 64. I should choose. All right. See this 32 X square plus Y square. Firstly, choose this. If you will differentiate with respect to uh, with respect to X twice partially, then what will happen? This X square will get eliminated and you will get two from here. You will get, of course, zero from here that times what you will get you will get i think uh, 64 already now see if you will differentiate twice with respect to y again you will get 64 that means i have to change my factor from here instead of writing 32 i have to write what i have to write uh, 16 are you getting my point i am trying to find out an example for which this this partial differential equation uh, will be satisfied. So see now, if you will differentiate it twice with respect to x, you will get 32. And if you will differentiate twice with respect to y, you will get 32 again. Got it? So that means you can choose this differential equation because it is going to satisfy this. All right. So, so this solution is going to satisfy this. Now let us see whether it satisfies the initial conditions or not. So the initial condition was actually the boundary condition and they are telling you that the u should vanish on the boundary. What is your boundary? Boundary is, boundary for the problem is x square plus y square is equal to 1. Alright, the circle part. Now if you want this to vanish, what you have to do, you have to subtract 16 out of it. Because when you will place x square plus y square is equal to 1 in this one, you will get 16 minus 16 and that is 0. And also see, adding a constant will have no effect on the differential equation. It will be still be satisfied. So that means this problem, this uh, differential equation, partial differential equation has this solution. All right. Now let us try to calculate what they want. 
u of 1 by 4 1 by root 2 so what you will get 16 uh, from here I think you will get 1 by 16 plus 1 by 2 so what we are getting 16 so it will be uh, 9 by 16 so 16 will be cancelled 9 minus 16 is, is equal to minus 7 so see all the remaining options are discarded and you are getting third as your correct answer so that means third is correct and all other remaining options are false so see how easily we can think of an example which which can satisfy this differential equation as well as the boundary condition that are that is given to us now what i want you to tell is this that this this solution is the only solution all right solution is unique for this problem and we can do easily by the theorem for that or oh, let me write that theorem for you and then we will be very sure that this is going to be a unique solution for this differential equation all right so let me write that theorem it, it is not the part of the uh, problem all right we have done the problem but for the knowledge purpose if you think that if some if you think that somebody may think some other function and maybe some other option may be true then so what i want you to be sure is this that this solution is unique all right so see this now that if you have uh, this open set in r square which is bounded as well as connected then this problem del u is equal to f what is del u oh, i'm sorry i forgot uh, this this operator is actually laplace operator all right i forgot to tell you this operate uh, operator all right so this operation is laplace operator so this del u is equal to f on the on the open set and u is equal to g on the boundary so on the boundary you have g as 0 so for this problem that you have your g is 0 then star has a unique solution so this is what theorem we need in order to show that this is the only solution that your function uh, that your differential equation can have all right so by using this we can show this is the only solution that we have so our answer must be correct if you want to be much sure in the exam all right so i can tell you again that solving poison's equations in general is little difficult and we don't need to do this in the exam and examiner also don't want you to do this because they want you to think of an example which can satisfy the boundary condition as well as the uh, differential partial differential equation that you are given with so if you have any doubt regarding this problem what you can do you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt what you can do you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups all right so the links for the groups are given in the description part of the video so thank you